We are standing on the very back of Auschwitz, the book, and now at one of the largest of the fields of ashes. The German Nazis have started to operate this site at the back of Birkenau. It became over time a massive landfill with ash, mostly from the temporary gas chamber called the White House, which was standing on the territory, but also an area into which ash from the later industrialized crematoriums and gas chamber was brought. There was a system of narrow gauge rails directed into this field and also this is the place where the burning of corpses in Pius was organized particularly in 1944. In spring of 1942 just after the German Nazis took the decision at the Wannsee conference about a mass extermination of European Jewry, Auschwitz wants to start with something they are converting a village house which was standing just on beneath those trees. You can barely see the foundations today. There was a white village house plastered with white stucco and it was converted into the first temporary gas chamber at the back of Birkenau. This was used from spring of 1942 into the spring summer of 1943 when the large industrialized crematoriums and gas chambers number two, three, four, and five entered into full operation. So this is one of the largest cemeteries existing on the territories of Birkenau today, and one of the largest cemeteries in Europe.